Oh. A lot of questions and stuff. No, they didn't ask us too many questions. Uh, a lot of the kids seem shy, at least the ones I talked to. But you know, I was the one asking the questions, just asking how they were doing, and you know, they're happy to be here, and you know, told them I was happy that they were there. So. Hey, how well have you gotten to know John Matsko at this point, and, and what's he really helped you with in terms of your own game? Um, I've gotten to know him very well, and um, you know, all the offensive linemen have gotten to know. Coach Masco, Coach Brown, Travell, and I think you know, all of them, they've helped me tremendously in just all the aspects of my game, you know, run blocking, pass blocking, and just working on just all the minute details of every of every play. So. Was there something they keyed in on specifically with you right from the beginning of camp? No, not, not one specific thing. I got a lot of room to improve in a lot of places, so this is not one thing. <laughs> How is camp going for you? Are you God, learning just, a lot? Or? I mean, I'm, I'm learning a lot, absolutely. And, um, you know, I let the, the, you know, the coaches let me know how I'm doing, and, you know, they're the ones ultimately tell me if I'm doing it good or not. Me, I'm just, I'm here trying to get better one day at a time, one play at a time, you know, just trusting the process. What's been the biggest adjustment you've had to make coming to this level, coming out of college and all, what have you had to work on? There's been a few, um, you know. Obviously, what a lot of rookies coming the NFL have is, you know, they're not the big dog anymore now. You know, now you're starting like you're a freshman in college again. Now it's just a rookie, and now you got to work to gain respect to the older guys that have been here and really earned it. And um, the playbook, you know, playbook's a lot bigger here than the, in the professional level, as expected. And the speed of the game is, you know, faster. So just just things that, like, every rookie probably has to deal with, you know. You know things that you would that you would think is probably what we're getting through. Have you had to to buy them candy bars or carry equipment or what are some of the things they've had you do? Uh, no, no, no real carrying equipment, but we do. I do have to make sure the candy in the locker room, water's always in the in the locker room, stuff like that. But uh, you know, stuff every rookie had to go through. So you know, you won't be hearing me complaining about it. What's the candy tally? Like what? How much are you get? Um, it, it's, pr I mean, you think about there's 15 300 pound men in one room, so you think <laughs> how much candy that is, you probably, you're probably guessing about right. Uh, now there's, there's a lot of, some of the biggest ones are, peanut M&Ms actually is a, is a big one, believe it or not. Um, there's a lot of fans of, uh, just chocolate Snickers is a big one, any kind of chocolate, so chocolate, uh, you know, Snickers, Kit Kats, Musketeers, Three Musketeers, I think it's called. That's a big one. So, I mean, I just I just go to the Dollar General or Walmart and just grab as much as I can find. Just remember the key ones that they all that they all want, or some of them want that and sunflower seeds, you know, so. What's the reaction from, like, the checkout person when you pull up? Yeah, they're just a little surprised. What are you doing with all this candy, all this, you know, this sunflower seeds? I'm like, it's none of your business. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, do you have any idea why Luke got upset at you today? Oh, you know, just um, you know, we're not in full pads, and I and I and I practice like we're in full pads a little bit, and you know, sometimes I just I gotta understand, you know, the the type of practice more myself. So, you know, uh, man, it's a lesson learned. You know, I'm a rookie, mm -hmm. just trying to learn as much as I can. So, so maybe Cam's right that Luke's not as nice as we all make him out. No, <laughs> Luke is a. Well, go off the field is a very, very nice person. One of, you know, he's an awesome leader, an awesome guy. You know, on and off the field, awesome person. I don't have to tell you guys that. You guys have a whatever idea you have of him. I'm sure is the, is the right idea of him. Really good guy. So. We expected from your first fan fest, and what's the excitement level like for you? Oh, I'm, I'm asking some of the players what it's like. Some people, you know, say it's the scrimmage or it's just another practice. I, I honestly have no idea what it's like. I just, you know, I'm just coming in and just preparing it like it's an, like it's another work day, and I'm just excited to see the, the turnout. So, but really for me, it's just another opportunity for for me and myself to get better and for the team to get better. So. Has your, has your, I know your, part, some of your family lives pretty close to where you are right now. I'm guessing you know, they've been out here and, and watching you work and everything. I'm sorry, what did so you say? Some of your extended family, I know, mm -hmm. in Gastonia. Have they come out here to Spartanburg to watch you work? No, I haven't, I haven't seen them. They'll be at the, they'll be at the games, though, I'm sure. What's it been like trying to line up blocking the Julius Peppers? He's very strong. Uh, it, was, it, it, was, it was an unexpected strength at first. But, I mean, he's a really good, really talented player. I mean, he's a 
it's gonna be on the Hall of Fame when he's done. So I mean, it's, I think it, I mean I'm I'm excited about it because it means that it's you know going against one of the best to ever do it. I'm just gonna make my game a lot better getting to go against him every day. That's all good. It seems like you're mostly lining up on the right side. Was that something that you brought to the coaches, or they brought to you? Oh, the coaches bring everything to me. Yeah, I mean I'm not I'm not one to. Like, what do you think I'd like demand to be playing somewhere? No, I just they tell me where to line up. I say yes, coach, and I play to the best of my ability. And you know, just if I wherever they put me, and I'm to my best of my ability to make the most of my opportunity. So right now, it's mainly right tackle and a little bit of right guard. So I just know the more I can do, and the you know the, the better off I am. And so just I, I love and bring on every opportunity I have. So. I know we asked you this right after you were drafted, but now you've had a little bit of time. Uh, has Ryan Khalil made you read his book yet? No, not yet. Uh, you know, I mean, that, that is definitely next on my list, though. So 